Okay, the automatic press is here. I just went to my neighbor at H&W Glass who has a forklift. And uh, I wasn't expecting this thing to be here until Wednesday, but it's here already. had guys drilling holes for the exhaust system for the conveyor dryer but also I need exhaust for my laser which is right here on the other side of the building as you can see pre-drilled this little hole and uh, I'm gonna leave it right there so they know exactly where to drill this thing out at. so I buy all of my screen printing supplies and equipment from tech source uh, based out of Kings Mountain North Carolina and that's actually where we went to do our screen printing classes initially I get a call from my sales rep today, all excited. He's like, hey, so um, you guys ready to get that equipment in? It's, it's gonna be here on Wednesday. And I was like, Ronnie, it's here. I'm looking at it, it's in the shop. Guys showed up at 7.55 a.m. this morning and I wasn't expecting it to be here till Wednesday. And uh, he's like, well, you're, I'm here to do a delivery. I'm like, holy cow. So I had to run and get uh, my neighbor who has a forklift and thankfully he got, he gets to work relatively early and uh, he helped me get this thing done. Then I have another neighbor that uh, work, does construction work and he was able to quickly get a eight inch hole drilled for me. And I went and got the ceramic flue, or I guess it's a mason masonry flue, put in. And I was like, you know what? While you have this machine rented to auger through my double brick wall situation, do you think you could drill another hole for my laser, which I have still not fired up? Insane that I haven't fired this thing up yet. I've had it over a year now and uh, it's ridiculous but so now i got a hole in the wall for it as well uh, i gotta do some caulking and gotta get a rain gutter guard for that thing and uh, get it sealed up but hey we're gonna be rocking on all kinds of cylinders over here i imagine some of you are going to go through this process of purchasing equipment like this and you're probably going to wonder what's it going to look like when it arrives when it comes in so I think I'm just gonna take you around and show you the crates and I'll show you what we have happening. All right, so crate number one here. This is the conveyor dryer, which is going to be replacing this bad boy right here. Um, and I think I might have a buyer for this, so that's good. This is the flue and you can see down there possibly uh, there's impellers down there for the fan exhaust system. So it already has a uh, exhaust system for getting this blown out. So that's why this is going to go right here. And you can see my exhaust hole there. So I'm going to be running a pipe up and over that. All way. right. So here is the electric chopper. This is the core of the machine here. You can see that we have gotten a Saber workhorse saber is their top of the line uh product it works off of both electricity and hydraulics and so the electricity part is supposed to really um, make this thing a lot quieter um, than most so we went with um maybe a smaller unit this is a six eight so it's a six color um, eight shirt capacity unit. Um, so we got the smaller Sabre, but we did get the high quality version. Then over here, this is the air dryer for the compressor. <clears throat> That's the compressor right there. It's absolutely humongous. It is <laughs> six foot tall. And uh, it's going to go in that corner 
over here. So I don't have it unpacked yet, but I'm going to be doing that at some point. Right here is the rollback flashing unit, which I'm really excited about. You can see it's on, it's got a track system and uh, it stays back. And then when it needs to flash something, then it moves forward automatically. Uh, TechSource was running a special on this with their manufacturer workhorse. And those that purchased a, um, a automatic press got a free $5,000 um, rollback flashing unit. So got a good deal on that. And over here, you can see are the arms of the unit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So all of that comes in one crate. So essentially there is one, two, three, four, five, six crates that were unloaded today. I had a visit today from a fellow print, sh print shop owner in Wilmington, North Carolina, Josh Harler. Um, Josh is a subscriber. That's actually how we met. And the funny part about how we met is the fact that, um, we were selling our video studio space in Wilmington in order to buy the brand new studio for our business, Port City Films. And Josh took over our space that we were in and, uh, when I posted a video about selling our old space and because we were buying a new one, Josh recognized it. He was like, I looked at that space yesterday. So it's really funny. It's not like I have a lot of subscribers out there. Uh, so he just happened to be just one of the people that were watching the videos. And um, he's now in my old space in Wilmington. So maybe one day he'll let us uh, take a tour of what he's done with that space over there in Wilmington. We are absolutely eaten up with t-shirts in this place. That's all shirts. Um, we got more shirts over here. Um, we have a lot of projects right now. We're dying for this machine. Uh, poor Chelsea, her arm and shoulder is kind of out from doing so much manual uh, labor with this press. And so, it couldn't have come at a better time, but I really need them to get here lickety split and get us set up and rolling with this because I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna actually be set up and rolling with this. We'll find out. We are going to be at the Printing United show in Atlanta in October. Um, I'm gonna be staying at the same hotel with Darren and Daniel um, and a bunch of other guys uh, are getting together. We're staying at the Hampton in Midtown. And so we're trying to get a big group of people hanging out there. And uh, that'll be our central, central point of, um, you know, getting together, talking to each other, um, getting to know some of the, the print fam folks. So that's going to be really cool. But uh, I do appreciate you guys tuning into this. Uh, I hope to see some of you guys at Printing United. And I guess I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.